We need smaller tins than this. We need a smaller tin than four litres when you're only doing a adorner frame and a bit of skirting. Morning everybody, this is Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Right, we're still on with the flat renovation project. Yeah, it's taking a bit of time. It's wearing me out. Anyway, the last time you saw me in this room, we were talking about Octiva 5. And I said I was gonna get the walls all painted with Octiva 5, which I have done. So if you're wanting to see just that bit of a, a talky-talky, walky-walky, telling you about products that I'm using, there's a video link there. It's probably a, a couple of videos back. But today, right, I don't wanna show you how to paint because we've got videos on showing you how to paint. <laughs> Well, it's a painting channel. <laughs> but what I do want to talk about today is um, two Fussy Blokes rollers, 5mm nap, which you've seen the thumbnail. That's the red box, if you don't know about two Fussy Blokes. There's a, a JD green colour, which is your 10mm, and then you've got your 5mm, which is your finishing off roller. Nap. Now, if you want to know a bit more about two Fussy Blokes, in that playlist, which was um, Placing the Sun, you know, when I was working away, I did quite a lot, well, yeah, more than quite a lot of rolling with two fussy blokes, really impressed. Now, on the flat renovation project, I've mainly been using, let me just get me stuff out. I've mainly been using, because it was recommended to me, the Pro Deck microfiber rollers, which are roughly about the same, five mil. They've got a red end, and the two fussy blokes have got a red end. Now, I thought they were all right, but because it was that long since I'd actually used two, two fussy blokes on a proper job, um, and I'd been using this more, I couldn't really remember what the actual finish was like with the two fussy blokes compared to one of these. So, on the last time that you've seen me using, you know, the one that everybody's shouting about at the minute, just how good is that? Just how good is that? I know over 100 quid for that US gallon, just under four liters. But the last time that you saw me using this, and if you're watching the playlist of um, the flat renovation, you'll see that he used it in the hallway, which is to me a good number of weeks ago, and probably to you from when I did it were months ago, because I've got video stacked up and being very productive. Um, and I used, the Pro Deck rollers, I thought they were all right. It gives a nice finish. The paint is, the paint's a dream. You can't ask for a nice paint than that. So when I get into this room area, I did mention that I will try a two fussy blokes on the door there, just to see whether I feel it feels a nicer roller or whether there are much of a muchness and whether the blind man on the galloping horse wouldn't know the difference. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my paint out. I'm using the scuff -X. I'm using a five mil finishing off microfiber roller. The lovely two fussy blokes handled. Yeah, you know what that is. And um, I mean, folks laugh at me. They, they, these are brilliant. It's really good. If you're rolling and doing a bit of cutting in, these are brilliant. It's the Worcester um, Pelican little roller bucket. I'm still using those liners, I've not thrown them away yet. I've got three on the go, really nice. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get this room all coated up with the first coat. I've got other stuff to do in the flat, so that'll all dry. I'll give it a few hours and I will come back and I will then give you a bit of a demonstration on that door. And let's, let's just talk what I think about that roller with that paint doing a door. Now, I don't want to bore you doing a load of painting, watching paint dry, but you know where I am with this. It was all oil-based eggshell 15 odd years ago when I did it, so we have gone over everything with um, Zinza, Bullseye one, two, three. So every bit of woodwork in this property, trim if you're in America, every bit of woodwork has been sanded down and then it's had a grip coat. So everything's the same, everything's been, well, properly coated up, shall I say, properly coated up. So it's had the grip primer and then whether I've been using a WRX paint or whether I've been using the Benjamin Moore, 
um, scuff X, they've all had the same base to work off of. So yeah, let's see how we go. I'm gonna get coated up and I'll come back in a few hours and talk to you then. Right, my little chickadees. It's been a good, well, I'll say a good couple of hours since I spoke to you. Um, when it came off camera, I coated all the woodwork up. Uh, that meant the door, and I did use the roller on that. Just behind the camera, there's a, that's, well, I'll just spin the camera around and go down. Oh, it's, there's a, you see, there's a window board just there. All been coated up. Now, I don't want to jump the gun. You know what I'm like, I don't want to jump the gun, but this paint, bend down, fade back in. If you're a painter and decorator, or a, let's call it a painter, that uh, that is still using oil-based paint, and you're very reluctant to change to a water-based paint, I've said times many, there's a lot of water-based paints out there that you'd be hard pushed to know whether it was oil or water. Do you know what, this is one of them. I know it's expensive, I'm gonna to say to you, if you are coming back to painting and decorating or you are a painter that wants to try a paint that will make you feel you are applying a proper paint, give this a go. <laughs> no endorsement, no sponsorship, no money's changed hands. I bought this from Brewers. You remember the video? I go down to see Sally and Gary down at Brewers at Ball in Nottingham, Scuff X, Benjamin Moore. It's a lovely paint. Enough said. Give it a try. Right, so I've coated everything up and I would say within 30 minutes, the door and woodwork, I know I've got a bit of airflow because I've got the Veluxes just there. I've got airflow through the flat. Within 30 minutes they were dry. So I've been probably a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, I'll probably say a couple of hours and I've actually gone round and now second coated the skirting, the door frame second coated, that window board, I'm all second coated. I've only got now to talk to you about what I want to talk to you about, painting this door with a two fussy blokes five mil roller. Now, first initial thoughts when I did the first coat for the door, I'm looking at it, I'd say it looks almost covered. That's down one to the paint, and also I will say the nap of that roller sleeve, the five mil, there's something about that that seems to keep it tight. That is tight. So when it actually applies the paint, I'm gonna use the word mottled. You see a bit of a mottling, which is like your orange peel, which you'd expect uh, with a roller. Now, when I was using the, yeah, Pro Deck, that mottling, straight orange peel, seemed to stay with the paint. And now, the same paint is on the other side of the door, so I, I know what I'm talking about. I, as a professional, you may be, you may not be, uh, yeah, I've been, we're having a laugh. Um, that's flowed out, now it's dried, and I'm looking at it, I'm gonna look now. I'm hard pushed to see whether that is actually roller finish or whether it, well, I'll say spray. I'm hard pushed to see any mottling, i.e. grinning from that first initial one, two, three Zinza coat that was the obliterate, well, I'll say obliterating, it wasn't there to obliterate for opacity, it was there for a grit primer, but it was a little bit grinny and it did show a bit of the Magnolia stroke Gardenia still through it. That over the top, you'd pass, you'd pass that as covered. So what's it going to be like with this second coat, stroke third coat, over Gardenia? Or was it Magnolia? I'm going to say that's nearly going to be... Job's a good one. Yeah, I'm hard pushed to see. So let me crack on with that. Do I need to show you painting the door? Of course I will. I'll show you painting the door and we'll discuss it. I'll probably fast forward all this through. I'll do my usual proper door painting. I've now I've got the roller. I'll do my mouldings first, just knock off any fatty edges. Bring in the main, the main panel just there with the roller. I'll do the same all the way down on the six panels. I'll just cut in round the hinges. I'll just run a brush across the bottom edge. I've already done 
the latch, stroke lock edge, handle edge there. I've already done that, so that's back dry. That's been done about 10 minutes. And then I'll just come round down the mulling rails, um, styles, top rail, middle rail, and all that. I'll bring it all down in one. So it's not like painting it with a brush, it's rollering. That's try, let's crack on. Right, there's my first panel done. Um, when you're doing this, make sure you've got enough paint on. Don't over roll your paint off your roller sleeve. I've got enough on there. You can see that orange peel, which will flow out because this paint is beautiful. And I know you're all saying to me, what brush are you using? I've got a nice Arrowworth Worthy Classic. This is a two inch. It's getting ready for a washout. If you are using water-based paints, go an hour to two hours, no more depending on your conditions, wash your brush out regularly. Don't think you're gonna be using the same brush all day with the same paint and expect that brush to still hold together. It, you'll cripple it. The word is crippling when you brush, brush your brush, your brush bristle. Oh, I'll get it out in a minute, it's tongue twister. Your brush bristles cripple and you can't do anything with it. Wash them out regular. And this, being Benjamin Moore's Scuff X, washes out beautifully. I'm going to say beautifully in just warm soapy water. Don't need hot water, just warm. It's not like some paints that are the hybrids that kill your brush. You know which brush? <sighs> the brush killer, that paint there. So right, I'm going to crack on with this. I'll put you some nice interlude music while I'm doing it. It'll be like lift music. I'll bring it all the way down and then we'll just do a quick sum up of how it's looking. Hopefully it'll be nearly dry when we do the sum up because I'll give it a few minutes before I come back to it. I'll see you in 10. Hello everybody. I've come back to you after a good 15, well, 10, 15 minutes. Now, you wanting to know, what did I think of that with that? So Scuff X, Benjamin Moore Scuff X, being applied by the two Fussy Blakes roller on the door, whereas previously I'd been using the Pro Deck microfiber rollers. Now, what do I think? Our personal preference, I still like this. I was very happy with how we applied the paint. The orange peel, I'll use the word orange peel, finish that it was giving seemed to be very tight with that nap. And as that's drying off, you don't see an orange peel finish. It flows out lovely. That's obviously down to the paint flows out nice. But that paint applied by this, that paint applied by, that paint applied, by, this paint applied by this roller is looking like a spray finish and that's what they actually say with two fussy blokes. But what do I think of the Pro Deck finish with the same paint on this side of the door? Do you know what? Nobody would know the difference, would they? That's a lovely finish. It's the same paint. But the application wise, application was done with the microfiber of the Pro Deck. And to be fair, you won't know any difference. It literally comes down to personal preference of which one you're liking. I like both of them. Personal preference, I'll be using this one again. Something about the way that nap holds together on that roller, you feel like you're applying the paint evenly and nicely. 
But don't get me wrong, that Pro Deck was still a nice roller. It's, it's personal choice. What do you like to use? You tell me what you like to like, like to use. But on the whole, this job has gone really well. It's my flat, it's the flat renovation. And I've got that Scuff X. Got loads of it left because didn't need as much as that. You can't buy, listen, we need smaller tins than this. We need a smaller tin than four liters when you're only doing a, a door and a frame and a bit of skirting. Are you listening? Please sort that. Litre tins, we want litre tins. But that paint, if you've not used it before, this is a water-based paint that I would say give it a try because you might think, I don't, I don't want to say it like that, if you've been used to oil-based paints, oil-based eggshell stroke satins, satin wood, and then try this, tell me that you don't think it feels very similar. I'm getting with words right around my neck. It's one of these water-based paints. This is one of those water-based paints that you would actually think, by seeing the finish, somebody's applied oil-based eggshell stroke satin wood. And on that note, I'm gonna say, give us some comments, what do you think? All very good, but to be fair, those Pro Decks are very nice as well. Personal preference, personal choice, it's down to you. What do you think? What's comments?